Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review. I am happy you can join me today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Click the subscribe button for future notifications and updates. Click the like button to share this content with other fans. So The Crow stars Bill Skarsgård and let me say I am a fan of Bill and the actors in his family. Not everyone in the family is an actor, but I am a fan of his father and his older brothers. I went to see The Crow because of Bill Skarsgård. It was directed by Rupert Sanders, the same director who gave us Snow White and the Huntsman, one of the movies in my DVD collection. It was released in theaters this past Friday, August 23rd, and the running time is 1 hour 51 minutes. The Crow is considered to be a gothic superhero film, the kind of superhero film Hollywood rarely makes, and it is also a reboot of the Crow franchise. I believe it is based on a series of graphic novels or comic books. I don't read a lot of comic books, so I never read the Crow stories, and I never watched the 1994 cult classic. I didn't see it because I thought it was one of those satanic thriller movies. So imagine how surprised I was to find out what The Crow is really all about. The synopsis is as follows. Soulmates Eric and Shelley, played by FKA Twigs, are brutally murdered when the demons of her dark past catch up with them. Given the chance to save his true love by sacrificing himself, Eric sets out to seek merciless revenge on their killers, traversing the worlds of the living and the dead to put the wrong things right. End quote. I saw the movie on opening night last Friday, and when I got back home, that's when I watched some reviews on YouTube and I read some reviews online. This is a very polarizing film. Some fans loved Bill Skarsgård and the movie. Some people bashed it hard. So I am going to give this film a two out of five stars. My initial reaction was the film portrays Eric and Shelley as boyfriend, girlfriend, but it does not portray them as soulmates. A soulmate relationship is very rare, so I did not see how Eric and Shelley's relationship was different than your typical boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. And that is in part to how the circumstances under which they met. Um, it just seemed like a typical boyfriend-girlfriend meet. So in the sense, the script needed more work. It needed another rewrite, in my opinion. Also, I thought there were times when the movie lost steam. There were slow parts, so I lost interest and I dozed off here and there. So again, going back to the script, the plot needed more work. I am not sure if the filmmakers went back to the original source, the graphic novels, the comic books, but if they did not, they should have. Because The Crow is one of those misunderstood protagonists, if I knew The Crow was both a love story and a revenge story, I would have watched the 1994 Crow a long time ago. I do agree with the fans that Bill Skarsgård was a great choice for the Eric Crow character. Take away the dialogue and I can watch Bill Skarsgård for two hours. He is definitely a leading man actor. Then when Skarsgård puts on the black makeup and becomes the Crow, he is wearing black from head to toe. There is a crow, a raven flying around, following Eric wherever he goes. Those shots right there look like gothic comic book artwork. He looks gorgeous as the crow. But the supporting cast, including FKA Twigs, did not work for me. It's not a matter of talent. For me, it is a matter of fit. The actors were not a good fit for their particular roles. So to me, FKA Twigs might be best in historical films that take place 100 years ago or longer. 
that requires historical costumes and sets. That's what I see her doing. What I did see was the revenge part of the story. The way Eric goes about getting revenge, it is bloody, stylish, raw, and that part of the story works 100%. The opera house scene is scary to watch. I think the opera house scene is a good reason to watch this film, if you have the stomach for it. <laughs> however, a big however, many critics bashed this one hard calling it the worst film of the year. I totally, totally disagree with that. I can name you a couple of films that is the worst of this year. And when I give The Crow two stars, I do it reluctantly. The Crow is not the worst film of the year. To me, it is that that comment is over-exaggerated. And what bothers me is I feel like some critics don't know how to watch a movie or they overanalyze films to make themselves look smart but the films don't need to be overanalyzed some of the worst films of all time have a confusing story and the plot is a mess to the point where you're not sure what the movie is about nor what to think of it some of the worst films of all time don't follow the rules of the genre or the director does not know what kind of movie they want to make. At least with The Crow, you understand it is a love story and a revenge story, and it is a superhero movie. You see those three aspects in the movie. So even though it is problematic, I would not say it is the worst of this year. The script needs more work in terms of the plot and the supporting cast needs to be replaced with actors more suitable for the characters needed in telling this story. So that is all for today, my friends. If you saw The Crow this past weekend, let me know what you thought of it. And I will see you next time with another movie review. Until then, have fun at the movies.